In the cradle of civilization, the land between two rivers, the Sumerian era unfolds, dating back to 4,500 BC. As the sun rose on human ingenuity, the Sumerians etched the dawn of civilization in the fertile soils of Mesopotamia. They gifted us the art of writing, etching their stories on clay tablets, leaving a lasting legacy that echoes through the annals of time. In this epoch, city-states emerged, each a beacon of human innovation, monumentality and societal complexity. Among them, the city of Uruk, an urban gem, glittered the brightest. Uruk was a marvel of its time, boasting intricate irrigation systems, a testament to the Sumerians' understanding of their environment and their mastery over it. These city-states were more than just settlements. They were the first manifestations of organized society, the earliest expressions of human ambition. Uruk, a city of grandeur and innovation, was the stage for one of history's early notable figures, King Enmakar. Amidst the bustling life of Uruk, a king rose to power, a man of great ambition and vision, Enmerkar. This wasn't just any ascension, it was a determined and deliberate rise to power. Enmerkar, with his unwavering determination, had his sights set high, not just on the throne, but on expanding Uruk's sphere of influence far and wide. His reign brought about a period of unprecedented growth and prosperity. He was an innovator, a visionary who saw the potential in his people and his city. He had a dream of a grand Uruk, and he set out to turn this dream into reality. His efforts to advance civilization were not just about conquering, but about building, inventing, and innovating. Enmerka's legacy is etched in stone, quite literally. His legendary construction projects, the magnificent temples and towering ziggurats, stand as a testament to his ambition. These were not just buildings, they were symbols of power, of prosperity, of the glory of Uruk. But Enmakar's vision went beyond mere physical structures. He was a champion of urbanization, pushing for a city that would not only dominate in size and strength, but also in culture and sophistication. He imagined a bustling city, a center of trade, a beacon of civilization. Enmakar, a leader both feared and respected, forever marked his legacy on the stones of Uruk. His reign, his accomplishments, his vision, they all shaped the course of Uruk, and in many ways the course of civilization itself. Enmerkar's reign, a golden age of progress and expansion, left an indelible mark on Sumerian history. As the king of Uruk, Enmerkar's achievements were monumental. His most awe-inspiring feat was the creation of the first world wonder, the majestic walls of Uruk. Not simply a defensive fortification, these walls were a testament to the architectural prowess and organizational capabilities of the Sumerians under Enmakar's rule. They stood as a symbol of power and prosperity, a beacon to the world of the grandeur of Uruk. Yet, his legacy extended beyond bricks and mortar. It's said that Enmakar was the mind behind the invention of writing, the cornerstone of civilization. The ability to record, communicate and pass down knowledge transformed society, catapulting it into a new era of sophistication and complexity. This gift of writing, attributed to Enmakar, forever changed the course of human history. His influence didn't wane with time. On the contrary, it seeped into the reins of future rulers, setting a precedent of ambition and progress. His spirit of innovation and his drive to elevate his kingdom left an indelible impression, shaping the path for those who followed in his footsteps. Enmakar's reign, a testament to ambition and progress, echoes through the annals of history. His accomplishments are not merely tales of a bygone era, but rather they are the building blocks of our shared human heritage. Enmakar's life, rich with achievements, also became the subject of epic poetry, immortalizing him in the realm of legends. The Epic of Enmakar, a series of Sumerian poems, narrate his conflicts with the rival city of Arata. These stories, told with the grandeur and drama of the ancient world, paint a vivid picture of a king who was as much a warrior as he was a builder. The tales of his conquests, his visionary leadership, and his unyielding spirit in the face of adversity have been passed down through generations. They've been etched into the collective memory of humanity, further embellishing his legacy. These poems stand as a testament to a time when civilization was still in its infancy, and yet was capable of producing leaders of such remarkable prowess and ambition. 
Enmakar, a king, a visionary, a legend. His story, etched in stone and verse, remains a testament to the dawn of civilization.